Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel and thank you very much for joining me today. Sea Chronicles here. I hope everybody is safe in this quarantine period and I hope we all get through this safe and sound. And I pray for all those that are affected. I hope, you know, they keep the faith and I'm praying that this thing passes soon. Welcome to part four of fragrances that I feel are a clone or a designer dupe two popular designer fragrances today i'm going to be talking about two fragrances this one's called Shh by jade Kubi, less soul she's known in the withers and this one is by ard al zafarin it's an arabic fragrance called 24 hours oud 24 hours right i'm going to start with this one this Getting into the notes first, there's black currant, moss, cinnamon, cumin, jasmine, patchouli, vanilla, musk, sandalwood. This is a bit, this is spicy. It's a cocktail of spri spices. Now back to the question of which fragrance do I feel this one is a dupe for? This to me is a dupe for Tom Ford's black orchid um if you like black orchid or do you like me i had a tester um of black orchid by T tom ford and i felt it was when i tried it on it was sickly heavy intoxicating and very very heavy that was what i perceived of tom ford's black orchid but having tried this jade goody if you're wondering why I have it, it's because to me, this is a dupe to a certain extent, but a softer, milder dupe. That if you don't like the heaviness of Tom Orchid, of Tom uh, Ford's Black Orchid, if you don't like that headachey thing in Tom Ford's uh, Black Orchid, then you're most likely going to like this. This, however, I wouldn't say is a clone. This has got similar notes. It smells along those lines. It's eight hours plus, and uh, it's it's definitely got that black orchid thing going on here. So if you want to try it, I definitely give my uh, thumbs up. Lasting power on this one is about eight hours. It's got patchouli. It lingers. It leaves a trail. And this I I feel is a fragrance that um, even a sixteen year old can wear without you know necessarily it's it's not a fragrance that i see offending anyone it's not an offensive one and then in terms of weather unlike the black orchid i feel this can be worn whether it's summer winter whatever because to me it looks like it's an all-rounder very nice fragrance subtler a very subtle version of black orchid um to a point where that this should have just been the toilet tea of it or something like that now going on to the next one this is an arabic fragrance called oud 24 hours i've shown you this earlier when we started right this this can pass as a straight up clone now if you're wondering the difference the difference between this and the black orchid in as much as this is a straight up clone is with this one the ingredients were fused perfectly there is nothing in this that's particularly shouting on its own you know i can smell the orchid on the in this it's beast mode but in a subtle way this to me doesn't induce a headache there's dark chocolate in here if you um if you research the notes on uh, um tom ford's black orchid you see that the, the notes on Tom Ford's Black Orchid are exactly, you know, what's in here. There's ylang ylang, um, a combination of spices in here, mandarin, bergamot, incense, patchouli. Um, I think to a certain extent there's in cinnamon in here, moss as well. This is a beautiful fragrance, guys. This is by um, Ard, I always have a problem pronouncing that word, it's by Ard al Zaafarin, and this you can get online um, on Amazon for uh, maybe 30 US dollars compared to what you'd pay for, you know, the same, but 
um, uh, the Tom Ford version. This I feel is value for money. It does the best job. The projection on this is perfect. And you know, this is one that age group, um, maybe 15 or 18, 20, somewhere thereabout, they might like this. Um, some say it's grandmarish uh, because it's got this vintagey um, tone to it. But I, I don't perceive that grandmarish thingy. And then in terms of weather, uh, this is definitely one that's suitable for winter or in cold you know in a cold climate not necessarily you know freezing winter but just the cold weather it projects better in the cold weather than it does in the summer so yeah those are the two chippies that i'd recommend to you uh the jade goodie if i didn't mention i got this for nine pounds on um, fragrance direct and this i got on amazon um I can't remember what the price was, but it's it's quite cheap. You can get it on Amazon. I don't think this will be more than twenty dollars, and it's definitely worth a try. Try these two guys and let me know what you think. Uh, let me know if I'm bang on on uh, some of these um, fragrance tips that I'm giving you. And again, thank you very much for joining me for the part four. I'll be back with the part five um, sometime next week. But thank you very much for joining me. I hope you like comment, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram. I go by the name C Chronicles there. Remember, ladies, smelling good is a form of good manners. Cheers.